Okay, so the first book we have is, I believe, A Lucky Man mm -hmm. by Jamel Brinkley. Mm, um, I love him. Yeah, debut collection. He's fantastic. I love this book. And it's, um, it's a collection of short stories that are about young men and growing up men who live in Brooklyn and the Bronx. Mm -hmm. And at the core of them is really an exploration of black masculinity. And so basically it's these men who are confronting their ideas of what it means to be a black man, questioning where those ideas come from, their fathers, their friends, the society that they live in, and um, coming to terms with how they ex exist within it and push past it. And what drew you to it? What, what did you love about this book? I mean, his writing is fantastic. He, you know, when, the reason I like short story collections is you have a lot of last lines, which can be so powerful. Mm -hmm. And with Jamel Brinkley, he has a last line that I'm just like, ugh. And like, I need to like take a minute before I start the next story. They're just so beautiful. So, and again, as all good writing does, it cuts to the core of the universality of these. Anyone can relate to having expectations about yourself and kind of pushing back. I love that. that. King of last lines. Oh, King of so last good. lines. So, so good. good. All right, what else? Um, up next we have um, America is Not the Heart by Elaine Castillo. And that one is a really rich, multi-generational story of uh, this family, the Devera family, who were kind of really big and influential in the Philippines. They are forced to flee to America, to California, in the middle of like some political turmoil. Mm -hmm. And Hero Devera is at the center of the story. She was like a big rebel in the Philippines, and she goes to move in with her uncle to take care of his daughter. And you're really looking at like what happens to a person and their identity when they are forced to take on this new life. She experiments with new aspects of her identity. She really takes on a caretaking role. She falls in love with this woman, Roz. And it's about, you know, the self and family ties and feeling that pull back to where you, were, where you came from, but also exploring new things. An immigrant story with a strong love story. That sounds like a lot of yeah. things I'm interested in. It's All right, great. what else? Um, we also have Sloane Crosley. Whoop. Love Sloane Crosley. Absolutely. Um, she has Look Alive out there, and it is everything you love about Sloane Crosley. Um, it is funny. She is so willing. It's a great cover. <laughs> she's so willing to, like, poke fun at herself, to kind of deflate the egos of all the worlds she's in, like the book world, the New York world. And she's really just great at, like, pointing out these, like, awkward moments that everyone understands but no one really articulates. And she's just great. I mean, she and I think David Sedaris are the two who make me consistently laugh out loud. Like, this is a book you can pick up and really enjoy, really Oh, laugh. yeah. Also, she's an incredible essayist, right? So she's oh, like, yeah. it's, a, it's a return to her form. Yes, exactly. It's like what made her famous, and it's as good as ever. It's so funny. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah. I'm so happy to hear that. I haven't gotten a chance to read it quite it's yet, but I'm, I'm really excited. All right. Last one, what do you got for the us? The last one we have is Other People's Houses by Abby Waxman. Mm -hmm. um, and this is just like a classic, like good summer into, I mean, spring into summer read. It's like a little big, little lies-ish, but lower stakes. It's about a family, a group of families in LA, suburban families. This woman, Frances, she's like the carpool runner, so she takes all the kids in the neighborhood to school. And because of that, she has like little inside sneak peeks at all these families going on around her. And she's got the tea. She's got the tea. She walks in on an affair that she's not supposed to see, and it kind of creates this huge fallout, and everyone questions their own like relationships. It's so fun. All right, so it's a fun like. It's very fun. I like I like the way you described it. Big little lies, but with lower, lower stakes. stakes. Yeah, like a little more familiar. It's great. Awesome.